Lights out, I'm the favorite. Too many ways, been in your place, there's delays. So this is like everything I get up to in the Sydney city. The fact that I used to live here and all of last year, that is so funny to me. We talk about it all the time. Like, remember that time we lived in Sydney? Like, it does not feel real. It's so funny. But I'm excited to be back. I'm actually here with my parents. So we're having a little parent and daughter trip. Although I literally just tagged along. I was like, you guys are going to Sydney. I'm coming too. So now I'm in Sydney. They have a wedding to attend to. And I'm just here for the vibes. You ready, Mum? We're going. And then I'm back at Mummy out later. So the hotel we're at is actually located right next to the Darling Harbour, which is this side. We're going to have dinner there later. But right now we're going to head this way because that right there is where the shopping is. There's Pitt Street Mall. Look at the Christmas tree. bottom of the Christmas tree and it goes four stories up it looks like it's floating okay I lost my parents but we're gonna meet at the Darling Harbour now I think we're gonna have dinner and the Sun is setting What does that say, everyone? It says it's goosey. goosey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> it was 41 degrees yesterday, and now it's raining, but it's fine. We're back at the Darling Harbour, but we're gonna head this way to Steam Mill Lane. <laughs> That little precinct there is actually the Chinese um, Friendship Garden. If you're looking for something just zen and cute um, in the middle of the city, that's your place. But this is Darling Square and we're going to have breakfast here. This infrastructure is so cool. It's like nest-like and it wraps around. People. I don't know why I'm so drawn to this street even when I used to live here. It's just so cute. It's got all these 
you know, random little eateries everywhere. It's a Sunday morning right now. Nothing seems to be open, but I know that this place is, so it's called Edition Coffee Roasters. <laughs> Japanese souffle pancake. Oh my gosh, you need to get it. But I was too young. I was like 19. Like lemon. Mm -hmm. Take away coffee. Guys, my parents have a wedding today, so we're doing it some solo exploring. Right now we're going to Patty's Market. So since we only have 48 like 72 hours here there were only four main places that i feel like i wanted to visit here in the cbd so yesterday we did the darling harbour we also went to like the pitch street mall qvb the main shopping strip and now we're visiting like haymarket this is the chinatown of sydney and then we're going to go to the quay which is where like the very touristic part of sydney as well so to Market City, Patty's Market. I don't know what it's called, I think it's Patty's Market. I literally came here all the time when I lived in Sydney. I don't know why, I love it. But I'm actually here to get some accessories. These glasses that I'm wearing on my head, I bought them here and I wanna get some more. And also, I'm gonna be in Korea, guys, in one month. I'm gonna be in Seoul and Busan and it's winter and I need like just some accessories, like some scarves and I think I can get some. Look at the glasses, wait. Thank you. Have a good day. Guys, 10 minutes in and I just bought four glasses but this next spot is so funny that i'm going by myself you'll see you'll see what i'm talking about i'm excited okay so we just came from over there that's where chinatown is Haymarket. that's world square down here if you keep walking down is actually the qbb so it's all pretty connected but i'm gonna go and stop by this place first you'll see Okay, I've taken my photos all solo and you get to choose, I think four, because this is the frame I picked. I don't know. I love this one. That's so funny. Sing karaoke by ourselves. This is full solo mode. It's so, so funny. Hello? 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 I say, me and Atta say, whenever we're traveling is like for research purposes and this is one of those things that I did this for research purposes so I can like <laughs> show people you can do this too and it's fun. Um, definitely would have been fun with more people. We're just gonna walk out like I wasn't just singing karaoke by myself. Everywhere we walked today felt like it was only a 10 to 15 minute stop each way so even though I've been walking for like an hour <laughs> because I stopped along the way so I'd walk to the Paddy's Market that's 10 minutes then I walked to George Street, that's another 10 minutes. Then I walked to QVB, it's another 10 minutes. It feels a lot shorter, so yeah. I'm back at the hotel now to drop my stuff. Oh, the glasses. 
glasses I got including these ones on my head but I got these all at the market each one were like $10 and then I even got a deal so five glasses for $45 all together it's what they look like love 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 Patty's market and then I got three scarves different colors for my trip to Korea like I said I feel like I'm gonna be rotating a lot of my clothing because I'm not gonna try I'm just gonna try not to bring too much clothing um, and so sometimes the only way to differentiate outfits is to um, use accessories that's what I did for my Europe trip I literally rotated the same four pieces of clothing and it was amazing. I swear, it looked like I had a different outfit each time, kind of. And it's because I had a whole bunch of hats, different gloves, different glasses that differentiated each outfit. So I got this cream one. This was $15, which is amazing. Brown. I wasn't expecting to get brown, but it's cute. And green. I was looking for blue. I couldn't find a good blue, so I opted for green because I do want a bit of this. This one's very blanket vibes as well. <laughs> Okay, I gotta go. Enough shopping, we gotta go. We're going to key area, the rocks. And that's a big walk actually. That's a good 30 minute walk. My fly was on top. Let's go. So we are now back at the Darling Harbour, except we are on the opposite side than we were yesterday. We're actually gonna be taking the Rangaroo foreshore walk. One thing about Sydney, because it's a coastal city, it has such beautiful like for sure walks um, and it's by the water and it's just really nice to the key area that took a good 30 to 40 minutes I would say that's not too long at all so we came from over there we literally walked to the coast around that way we are now at key this was the key area one thing you can do is the museum or catch a ferry catch a ferry it's good but we're gonna head to the rocks this way Lights out, I'm your favorite. Too many ways, been in your place, there's delays. Add it up, plus signs, zeros on the table. Driving and vibing, bring the be later. place called Tea Cozy. It literally feels like I'm in a fairy garden. I needed to take a break because I am exhausted from that walk. But this is the perfect spot for people watching. Look. don't mind it but I just freshened up I put this top on because I'm gonna go have dinner with my sister-in-law we're heading to Newtown I won't be vlogging but yeah Newtown is it if you're looking for a place to like eat it's the biggest foodie place I've been there multiple times and yeah good food records over there but see you tomorrow I'm excited, I'm so hungry, but we walked past this yesterday. 
because this is the Barangaroo walkie. much and then you get really tired because that is us we are so tired we even went back to the hotel room and had a little nap but I said let's get up let's go it's our last night in Sydney how cool was that dinner that was at the crown I forget what it's called we're just walking along the coast so that we can be by the water and then we'll find the opera house Yeah, the crowd's moving. The Sydney Opera House right now is super busy. Guy Sebastian's actually performing today, and apparently last week Daniel Caesar performed. So. Mum and Dad are having dinner separately, so we're gonna go out to eat. That was so fast. I'm gonna try to go to Thai Town. I fully changed into like my trackies and no makeup because I'm so tired but so hungry. It's like 8 p.m. now. on a Monday night. Do you know how wild that is also? I got the best cookies ever. So I am obsessed with these cookies. They do not deliver to Adelaide. Only to Eastern States and so when I saw it, also why is everything open? Everything is open. It is bustling in Sydney but so Latau is like a Japanese cheesecake shop I believe and they sell these cookies which are insane my brother introduced me to these and I've been obsessed ever since but I haven't tried their tarts before that's delicious and I assume they would have made this earlier surely the cookie this is like a high tea cookie like something you have with a tea or a coffee it's the lightest biscuit ever and it's got a cheam, cream cheese filling inside and it's just, I don't it's know, like a perfect combination of sweet and savoury.
when I tell you I had the most hectic morning. Tell me why I thought Archer's plane went missing. <laughs> Anyways, that was my morning. Stressed, woke up so early. I just went to a little bakery, as you guys saw. It's called the Grumpy Baker. So cute. But now I'm actually going to go to where we works. It's our last day, and I feel like just sitting somewhere doing some work. So.